Hey folks, Ned Pyle here again. Uh, if you're watching this video, Server 2008 support is either about to end or has already ended. So why do you care? You've been running Server 2008 for as many as 10 years right now. It's been working great. It's a good file server. It's a good domain controller. It's been holding up your websites, running your databases. Um, seems pretty steady. Why mess with something which is working? That's a great question. Uh, the shorter answer is, no one's going to answer your call now if you have a problem with it. So just thinking about the operational cost of running an operating system or running a data center, there's times when you run into issues that you're just trying to troubleshoot, figure out what's going on. Well, you're not running an OS where if you call, uh, no one's under any obligation to help you anymore. Um, if you hear about a new vulnerability that comes out, a new security patch, it will not be present on that server anymore. So you're now running inside of this space of sort of abandoned operating system and hoping that you've got everything you need, um, including a lot of luck, to keep it running. So the end of support lifecycle of 2008 means um, going forward that you can buy extended support, actually buy patches for it if you are um, you know, a large business or enterprise that runs with a software agreement with Microsoft, or you can migrate to Azure. Um, there are a lot of details on how all this works, and it's really too much to talk about. Uh, I want to point you to this URL right here that starts with an FAQ and explains what the process is going to be like just to get back to the point of being before January 14th, 2020, what your life was like um, for the next three years, up to three years. And then also, I want you to go to this URL to take a look at what your migration and upgrade options are going to be and really start planning to get off of this thing. Because even if you buy the support, even if you put it into Azure, even if you get critical updates, even if you can call Microsoft, 2008 is done being made. Um, its architecture is not going to be improved. And all of the things that come to make your job easier, your business more profitable, your customers and users more productive, they go into the later OSs and they don't come backwards. Um, so getting upgraded and getting migrated really is the most key thing for you to be looking at for the next year to three years, not just trying to keep your Server 2008 platforms limping along. Thanks very much.